Hello, today we're going to take care of our notes on patterns using images. So how does the picture change from one to the next? Uh, we can find patterns in many different forms. Sometimes they are listed as a set of numbers, a table, or some diagrams. Um, so the key things you want to look for is how did one picture change from the next? Then you want to try some things and see if uh, replicating what you did, starting from the first one to the second one to the third one, will match what the pattern already says. So in example A, we have here, we have uh, what looks like a house shape, the square and the triangle on top. And then it looks like we have some more shapes like that. So I want to see, uh, just for you guys, so I know we're just starting out, what changes do you see happening? And how do you think we can use that to do the fourth picture? So to me, it looks like each time we're adding another set of the triangle shape. So what we would do is I would draw one and then the triangle, two and then the triangle, three and the triangle, four and the triangle. So in diagram one we have one, triangram two we have two, I count three, we have three, and four, I made it four. And it looks like it follows that pattern because I kind of did that same pattern to get to the picture. So complete the table below showing the number of lines in each diagram. So what we're also going to talk about here is a formula or a rule. So what is the change here each time? So in diagram one, we have six lines, one, two, three, four for each side of the square and then two for the triangle that's created on top. Um, in diagram two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the two squares, eight, nine, 10, 11 for the triangles. So diagram three, we wanna count that out. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 for our three squares, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, or that one. And then diagram four, I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So something we want to look at here is what is added each time. So sometimes the change is an addition or a subtraction here. So if I go from 6 to 11, well, I added five lines to draw the new shape because when we add that next shape, we only need five of the six lines because this one here is already existing. Adding five to 11 also gives us 16. Sixteen plus five is twenty one. And then that means if we were to draw a diagram for five, we would end up having 26 lines for that one. And for our formula or our rule, we can just say we add five more lines each time.
All right, and then we'll do a second one. So here we have some dots. So we, this is a thing where we want to practice what are we adding each time as well. So for this one, we start with one dot. And once again, I want you guys to start by what do you think we're going to do to make the change each time? What change do you see here? All right. So when I first did this and took a look at this, I saw a dot and then I saw more added around it. So I thought maybe the new dots were these ones. But that means that when I add more dots for diagram three, I would have to add them. So if I added a dot above, I have another dot above, another dot to the left, and another dot to the right. This is where we have to see, just following the pattern, do this. But then I thought about it a little more. Because the other thing is this dot is in the middle, so it's going to, the original dot is going to have to be one of these three. And I saw that if I added this arrow shape, that might work. So I'm doing the colors here. So the first one right here is our original dot. And then in step two, we add this arrow shape. And then in step three, we add the other arrow shape again. And that works. If we keep doing that, that'll give us diagram four. So for diagram four, we're going to have There's one and two. There's three. And that makes four. Diagram five. There's one and two. There's three, there's four, and here's five. All right, and then for this one, complete the table showing the number of dots, I should say dots, in each diagram. So in one, we have one dot. In two, we have five dots. In three, we have nine dots. In four, we have thirteen dots. And in five, we have seventeen dots. So what, what do you guys think for this one? What is going to be our formula rule? What, are, what math is going to happen each time with the number of dots? So from one to five, so the other thing is you want to test. If I add four, one plus four is five. Four plus five is nine, so that works. Nine plus four is 13, that works as well. 13 plus four is 17, that works. So since it kept working, that means our rule is gonna be add four more dots each time.
that is it for our lesson on patterns with pictures. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in at the end of this video.